Wazoo here, and I'm going to attempt to teach a uh, do a new video with new software today. What I'm trying to do here today is uh, show how to create a seconds timer within a Redline HMI. So in this little database I'm running here today, uh, I've got, uh, for instance, down here modules. I've got a DIO card connected here to slot number two, and I've got some discrete tags, uh, flag tags, of course, mapped to input one and input two. Input one I have named gate status, and what I've done with that particular unit is I've changed the text to say gate open when it's on and gate closed when it's closed, and then I just have another one called reset timer, and I typed in there reset to zero. Let me first uh, show you the demo here. So here I am running the web page, and you can see if I turn on input number one, you can see that the gate status goes from gate closed to gate open. Perfect. And if I hit the other one, you can see that it triggers reset to zero. Now what I'd like to do in this example is I would like to keep track in seconds how long the gate is opened. So every time the gate opens, I would like to keep track in seconds how long it's in the open state. So what I'll do to uh, make this occur is I'm going to go over to the left-hand side in Crimson and click on Programs over here on the left. I'm going to go ahead and insert a new program by clicking this button right here, New Program right here. Uh, generally, when you first come in here, you probably have a program, but I've deleted it, so I'm going to add a new program. So what I want to do here is anytime the gate status goes on, I want to increment some kind of a seconds counter. So I'm just going to make a little text here. Uh, let's say here, if gate open or gate status is on, then increment a timer. Okay, so I'm just the two forward slashes there indicates a text. So I'll hit enter the next line, and I'm going to type if, open parentheses. I'll go over here to the right side, and I'm just going to, the easiest way to do it is to just grab the appropriate tag and drag it down here. This way, the gate status. Now, you can either leave it with a close parentheses, and that will infer that when that thing goes on, it'll do this. Or another way to look at this is you can put two equal signs and a number one, and then in parentheses. And that just basically says that if gate status equals one or the on state, then it will do the next step. So the next step we want to do here, the way I teach is uh, if that condition's true, then I'll hit the tab button to go across, and I'm going to use the shift and the squirrely uh, character, which is to the right of the letter P on your keyboard, and then I'll hit enter, and then I'll say here uh, increment. Let's say I can't seem to spell today. Increment my uh, uh, open timer by one second. So this is just a text. So then I'm going to say down here my open timer equals my open timer plus one. Now that's the end of a statement here in the C programming section. So I'm going to put a semicolon at the end, and then I'll hit enter again. And down below here, I'm going to do shift and the close brackets here, because that's the end of that statement. All right, so there's the extent of our C code. Now, any time in Crimson that you happen to do the code here, you've got to hit this translate button right here. This little button right here is the translate or compile button. So watch what happens when I do that. When I hit this button, it's going to go through and translate the code, and it's going to say, hey, wait a minute. You've got a timer here called, or a new tag called My Open Timer that Crimson did not just, you know, did not find over here. It's asking you, do you want to create it automatically? And I'm going to say yes to this. And you'll see then it shows up over here on the side. So there's my timer. Now here's my program, my logic. Got a couple more things to do. First of all, I'm going to go to Display Pages on the left. And then I'm going to go to the right side, and I'm going to grab that My Open Timer, and I want to put that on the screen so that you can actually see this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the screen. I'll make it a little bigger, and I'll bold it as well. That way you can see it there. 
And then the number two thing I need to do is I need to call that program somehow uh, to, to increment my timer whenever it's on. So the easiest way to do that is over here on the left, click on the word pages above your page one, click on the word pages right here, and then you're gonna see in here that on the global tab, you've got four global actions that are available here on power up, startup, on tick, and on update. For this example, we're gonna use the on tick, which is basically once a second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the right hand side and click programs on the right side and then grab my program one and just drag and drop it out here in the on tick. That means every second it's gonna be calling that program. And of course that program, again, going back to the program, the program just says, hey, if gate status is on, then I need to increment my timer every time. So that's what it's gonna do there. The next thing I wanna do before I move on, every time I download this to the HMI, uh, if I don't set up the my timer, the my open timer to be retentative, it's gonna delete the old value and start at zero every time. So I'm gonna make that a retentative tag. That way it keeps it. And I think we should be able to try it out. So let's go ahead and save this to our hard drive and download it and let's see what happens here, guys. Did I lose my cable? Hold on here, guys. I'm problem here because for some reason my PC I got a new driver for my Ethernet port and it seems to uh, cause me issues so let's take a look here and see what happens okay so apparently I was playing with this earlier I close so if I hold down the gate open watch what happens to my open timer and you can see that it's automatically counting up if I stop it there Notice it stops at number nine. If I go ahead and squeeze it again, it should start continuing on up, so forth. Now what I'd like to do next is I'd like to use the reset timer here to be able to reset my open timer back to zero. So this is a real simple application for this. I'm simply gonna go to data tags on the left and on the left hand side here, I'm gonna click on that reset timer tag. And if I go to the triggers tab for that guy, go to the triggers tab right here, and down here in the triggers, I'm going to say whenever it goes to active on, whenever it goes to the on condition, down here is the action that I wanted to do. So I'm just going to hit the edit button right here. And on the action, I'm just going to drag this guy out here like this. And I'll do a space, one equal sign, because I want to assign the value, not two like before to ask a question. One is to eat to uh, assign a value. And then I'll hit enter. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and save this to our hard drive and download it to our screen. And now if we go back to our web page so you all can see really what's happening. Notice I wait for the signals to come here. Okay, so if I go ahead and squeeze the gate open again, notice it keeps track of the uh, time that it's open. I let it sit again, I go ahead and hit it again. See, it works. All right, now if I hit the other input, we should see it get reset. Let's see. Boom, look at that, folks. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and open up the gate open again check it out it works just fine I'll let it sit for a couple seconds hit it again starts up counting perfect and once again if I hit the reset timer okay perfect I got one more thing to do though I got to thinking about this uh, right now we're keeping an eye of how long it's open but what if I wanted to always keep a track of how long the gate was closed so very simple I'm gonna go back here to my program the same program it's running and I'll just Add a little text here. Status is, you know what, folks, this was supposed to be the word is, not in. <laughs> is off or closed. Then increment another timer to keep track of this time. So I'll do this if. Open parentheses. Now this one's a little trickier. I can either do it like this and do the zero, or if you were more of a, a C programmer, you could do this and put an explanation point in the beginning of this, which is the not signal when you're in the C world, explanation point there in the beginning. And I'll tab across and do it just like before. Second, and you can see I can't spell this morning. 
So I'll type my closed timer is equal to my closed timer plus one semicolon because that's the end of that statement. All right, so there's our new code for this. I'm going to go ahead and translate or compile this because uh, notice the diamond over here is yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button. You're going to see it's going to say, hey, you got a new tag here called my closed timer that it couldn't find. So I'll hit yes. It created it as well. Perfect. That looks good. I'm going to go back to data tags on this side. Just like before, the my closed timer, I'm going to make it be retentive as well. And then I'm going to go here to display page, go to data tags on the right side. I'm going to drag this guy out here as well. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to right click on this and come down here and click same size as. That's going to make it the same size as this one right here. Notice I got trailing X. Boom. And then I'm going to right click once again on this thing and I'm going to say copy from. Choose all formatting. Notice I got a trailing X. It's asking you who to want to copy from. I'll clip on this one. Boom. That makes the font the same size and the bold. And I'm going to try to line it up here, sort of like that. All right, let's go ahead and save this and download it and let's see what happens. All right, back to our web page here. All right, so you can see here, it's apparently got some time from before. You know what I should do? Let me fix one more thing here, guys, because I was playing this, this earlier. So let me go over here and let me add, we're going to make this thing a compound state with this reset timer. I'm going to have it reset both timers by doing this. I'm just going to add a compound statement in there like this. That way, when I go to download it, let's see what happens here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and reset both timers by holding the reset timer in. Look at they both went to zero. Perfect. Now, you can see that the my close timer is always cranking away. But if I go turn on the gate status to open, watch what happens. Here we go. You'll see right away that the my open timer now starts to add up while the close timer is stopped. So if I let go over here, boom, the close timer starts to work again. Rocks and roll keeps on keeping track of things. And once again, if I go ahead and push in, say, the gate open, you'll see that it starts keeping trolley and so forth. So that's just a quick example of how you can use the on tick function in the display pages, the on tick right here, to call a program once a second to create some kind of timers in your Redline HMI. So uh, hopefully that uh, is enlightening to you. If you got any questions or so forth, don't be afraid to send me a uh, note on uh, YouTube and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day. And thank you again for buying Redline.